It's been four days since Ali Zakaria nearly lost one of his eyes while serving as a pooling agent in Nalerugu during the MPP Superdelegate Congress. He was allegedly assaulted. Today, Alan Chairman Tim paid him a visit at Ames Hospital in Tesano here in Accra where he is currently undergoing treatment. Ali Zakaria recounts the harrowing incident. They voted in groups. The first group was led by the MP for Wale Wale. So she came and voted and displayed her vote. So I complained to the police commander and the EC in charge. So I saw that they played an adamant. They didn't want to listen to me. So the, the regional minister also followed up. He voted and did not display his vote. He went and kept it in, inside the ballot box. So the third person was the regional youth organizer. He voted and displayed his vote. So I confronted him and told him, my brother, that is not the way, the rule of the game. We are told that no one should use a phone to snap when you vote. Secondly, we have been told that no one should vote and display his vote. Oh, when I said he hit, picked a plus chair and hit me, so I blocked him this way. So it hits my hand. MPP flag bearer hopeful Alan Chermantin condemned the action. What happened to my colleague on Saturday was an act of total indiscipline and indecent behavior how do we as a decent party going into an election particularly at the level of superdelegates superintend such behavior i mean look we all joined the mpp because of our commitment to the values of the party but what is happening clearly shows that this is not what we bargained for by joining the party. I'm not going to tolerate this kind of behavior. It doesn't make sense. And when we cannot conduct ourselves as a family, trying to select a leader, you know, in a peaceful and organized manner, how do we intend to be able to do the same kind of process when we have 230 people uh, gathered. As of now, there has been no update regarding the arrest of the individuals who allegedly assaulted Ali Zakaria. Prince Ousu Ansas reports read to you.